in this video I'm gonna show you how joint probability works in Excel this video is based on the example we did last time let's refresh our memory we have two groups of events one is hitting oil or no oil the other is getting favorable survey or unfavorable survey those four cells are the four joint probabilities and over here they are the marginal probabilities of hitting oil or having no oil down here they are the marginal probabilities of getting favorable survey and unfavorable survey the sum of everything is one next let's see what information we've already had it doesn't look like we have a lot first the thing we know that the probability of hitting oil is 25 percent because it's a no information so it's highlighted in yellow once we know this we know the other marginal probability of having no oil is going to be 1 minus 0.25 so we get 0.75 the probability of having no oil next let's see what else do we know we also know some of those conditional probabilities one of them is the probability of getting favorable survey if we indeed hit oil is 60 percent so the probability of getting unfavorable survey given we had oil is going to be 1 minus 0.6 which is 0.4 another conditional probability we know is giving we had no oil the probability we got unfavorable survey is 0.8 so the probability of getting favorable survey giving there's no oil is going to be equal to 1 minus 0.8 which is 0.2 now we're ready to find those joint probabilities let's start with the joint probability of hitting oil and the favorable survey it's equal to the conditional probability of F giving hitting oil times the marginal probability of hitting oil we get 0.15 we know this one we know the joint probability of U and HO easily it's equal to the marginal probability minus the joint probability we got earlier next let's find out about the uh, joint probability of no oil and federal survey it's equal to the conditional probability of federal survey giving no oil multiplied by the marginal probability of having no oil which is 0.75 the result is 0.15 and we know this we know the other one immediately the joint probability of having no oil and getting unfavorable survey is going to be equal to 0.75 minus 0.15 which is 0.6 next we're going to find out about the remaining marginal probabilities the probability of getting favorable survey is nothing but the sum of those two joint probabilities it's very easy to understand given you got federal survey you either hit oil or you have no oil we know this one we know the other one uh, you can try to do this 1 minus 0.3 which is 0.7 or you can try to do something like this 0.1 plus 0.6 either way we get 0.7 now we get all the joint probabilities next we are ready to find those conditional probabilities the first one we'd like to know is the conditional probability of hitting oil given we have favorable survey it's equal to the joint probability of HO and F divided by the marginal probability of having favorable survey which is equal to 0.5 the other one is going to be equal to 1 minus P of HO giving F 
it's also equal to 0.5. Next, let's find out about the conditional probability of hitting oil given unfavorable survey. It's equal to the joint probability of HO and U divided by the marginal probability of getting unfavorable survey, which is 0.7. The result is 0.14286. The last one, conditional probability of having no oil giving unfavorable survey is going to be equal to 1 minus 1 seventh. We get 0.857. And this video shows you how we can construct joint probability table easily in Excel. In a later chapter, we are going to use the information over here to construct a decision tree to help the mobile oil company make a nice and informed decision.